Oh my god, look at the size of that one. All right, y'all. Finally, the next cast has come back to Pimatumi and Reservoir. We're about to get out here on these fish and show you how we do it. Stay tuned, y'all. It's time to become a better angler. How deep do you guys think it is right here? Probably like three or four. Have you guys caught anything around the dock at all? Oh yeah. Got a nice sunfish. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Keep it right off the dock. What is that? Just a, just a little water. Nice. How deep are you? You're, you're throwing it on the bottom, huh? Just a live minnow? No, steel shad. Really? Ooh. Oh, I saw that. You got, got him? him? dude. Got him. <laughs> I think it's a walleye. Or maybe it's a catfish. It's something funky. Oh, beautiful walleye. Come on. Get here, baby. Nice. Nice. Look, you catch him. Nice. Steel shad, brother. Steel shad. That's what we were waiting for. Right on the bottom. I felt he tapped it and I didn't get him the first time, so I just jigged it a few times and he whapped it. Yeah, look at they choke it though. When they yeah, they it. did. I saw you kind of look and then you waited and I saw you set it the second time. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely a keeper. Yep. Probably 16 or 17. Dude, get your rod in the water. Keep fishing. Oh, I'm going to. I'm just. Kind of, I'm kind of recording this. So. Oh, are you? Yeah. Okay. I don't get to see you catch them too often. You catch a lot, but I've seen them in other videos. That's what I'm talking about. I lost another hook on this thing. Yeah, you did. Well, I'll have to do. Beautiful. Good job, man. So to mark where we are for the future, see we're just past the house. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure he's legal. Yep, 16. Beautiful. Where are you putting that one in here? Yep. Again, it was just, uh, it was just bunk. One to dunk. All right. So what time did you guys start fishing this morning? I started fishing at like 7.15. Woo, you were here that early, huh? Yeah. You already have the boat and everything? Yeah, typically we come up the night before. This year we didn't. Right, right. I thought this So this is the madness you guys have gotten so far? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oh yeah. Those are some beautiful perch too. Got some sunfish in there. Nice. Very nice. Some good eating right there, y'all. Good eating. Mike, you already got one, huh? Let's check this out, guys. We're fishing the causeway. Mike already has a fish. What did he get? What'd you get, brother? Oh! Still? I don't know. We'll swallow him out. You get a bigger fish, we'll make shorts out of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, well. Nah. Just off a worm, huh? No, minnow. I threw a minnow on, slip bobber, about four foot deep. Nice. I was just talking. I'm like, I can't find my bobber. And I pulled, hey, there's a fish on it. Well, if you guys catch another one, I'm trying to throw this for Paula to see what they'll do, but nothing yet, huh? They might be right off that point. You know what I'm saying? That might be creating an edge for them right there. I agree. I mean, might not be fighting there, it could just be the weather, but all I know is right here, it ain't nothing like I, mean, I agree. I'm even picking up bluefield. I'm right there with you. Is that another storm coming or what? I think, yeah. 
not. I'm over it. Pretty much put the kibosh on the whole day today. And you did a you did a worm, right? Yeah, just a worm on that. Yeah. How deep? Uh, four foot. Okay. About yay. That's about yay. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. Down Trent's got one already. Trent's got one. Trent's got a nice one. Bring it this way, Trent. I guess that. Oh, bring that over here. here. Yes, brother. Hey, guess what? We don't here, have the basket. I got a big stringer right here. Yeah, we do. I have a stringer in my bag too. Right here. You want a picture right, with that, that one? Look at that bite mark. Right on the side. Yeah. A uh, walleye tried to get him. Ready? You want to hold it? Yeah, just hold the. I wouldn't grab his mouth. Just hold it right there. Got it. Don't you let that back in. Don't you let that get away. Sometimes you just gotta get poked, dude. That's just the way it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna be, see? Good job, Trent. Yeah, when it was fighting, I was like, oh, he's got a nice one. Nice, you used to right off the side of the thing, too. <clears throat> I can tell you, this Mr. Crappy pole is pretty sweet. Yes. When did you get that one? I got uh, fish. I got like fish. You do have a fish, okay? Here. Here, throw that down. Oh yeah. Mike's got one. Oh, that's a baby. Let me see what you got there, Mikey. Got me a little another perch, perch. Right? Just like that. Two fish. What was that? Really? I think the answer should be a resounding yes. There we go. There we go. Got him. Yep. <laughs> I win. Smallest fish goes to me. <laughs> well, guys, we caught three perch like that. Yeah. We should have started over here. There we go. Got him. See how it hangs like that now? Oh, yeah. Got my first keeper. That's a keeper. Okay. I got a feeling weather's gonna close in on us, but I'm yeah. gonna fish till it does. Okay. Where do you have this? Okay, I see. It's right here. Oh. All right, y'all. We got okay, another this one. This one's empty. There's nothing in there. Okay, well, just. Right oh. Got him. Bring that bad boy up here. Well, we'll keep him if, if he swallowed. swallowed it. We'll keep. So catch him like that. I'm gonna throw this one out there. You know what I mean? Because it's got the bobber. Okay, dude, chill. I feel like perch are the hardest fish to take off. They do they not are. like. They have sharp oh, gill plates. Shell crackers are horrible. <sighs> Some things are ruthless. All right, y'all. Trent is fishing without a bobber, but he's dragging it on the bottom. Mike has a bobber somewhere. I got a bobber about five foot deep, almost to the bottom, and I have a jig. And then I have a, we're all using worms. I have a slip bobber and I'm about five feet deep and we're just waiting for the, waiting for the bite. Yep. You're under Mike big time. Got him. That's a better fish. Ah, nice. There you go. Good job, Mike. What do we put on there? Five? I think it's starting to get cold. It is. That's what happens when it's cold and then you get okay, wet. Okay, one more worm. Rain starts hitting heavy, we'll quit. Well, Trent said when he's done catching fish, we'll quit. Oh, oh it came off? Trent? Well, I don't got it. <laughs> oh. Did it get off? Well, I don't Yeah. Want he... <laughs> I guess that means yes. Hey y'all, look at that guy right there. The sarcasm is strong in that one. Woo! Uh, Mike, you're under. Mike, you're under. Oh, that's it. Set your other one down. Oh my god, look at the size of that one. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a perch. <laughs> False alarm. Is that 12 inches? No. Uh, I don't know. My, is your. Is the line wrapped around something? The, the stringer? Yeah, I got it stabbed in. Okay. Trent's got another nice one. Bring that one up, Trent. Oh, that's a... Oh, nah, I don't think that's a keeper. Yeah, he swallowed it again. But he swallowed it. You ready? Okay. Yeah. That's cool. 
Yeah, because we can come back out and do this. Because it's going to stop in an hour. Maybe we can convince Don and uh, Jeff to come back with us. You know you've had a pretty good day of fishing when you have two massive walleyes like that laying on the play table. Yeah. Any net you catch one like this is... Yeah. <laughs> if I'm gonna freeze walleye, uh -huh. I won't even take it off the skin or anything. I leave it on the skin and freeze it whole, because then it won't get mushy and fall apart in the freezer. Really? Yeah, I'll just put a little bit of water in the bag, freeze it into a solid block, and then yeah, thaw it out. And then when I thaw it out, I'll I'll finish taking it off the skin and everything there. These have a wicked row of pin bones. Feel these? Right. So you cut that line of them out when you finally decide to eat I usually just cut a V. A V? Yep. Okay. So they run like this. So I'll run my knife here and then right on the other side here and then notch out and it'll peel right off. Once again, learning something new. And then got to get the cheeks on this guy too. Try not to hit my knuckles. Right. <laughs> cut my damn finger off. <laughs> Wasn't the cleanest one, but you need like a little. You need like a boning knife. You need yep. a little short, yep. really sharp knife. Yep. I'll get this one good though. Yeah. This one wasn't big enough to have chicken meat. Though. I mean, it would have, but they didn't. It's not worth it. Right, it's not. Like, wait, wait, yeah, you got it. There you go. That one's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's almost all of it. I missed the little spot right here. Jeff, you're doing a phenomenal job supervising. Mm -hmm. Make sure they do it right. The other supervisors over there, Mikey Jr. <laughs> Focus in on that sweatshirt there, guys. Beware of the dog. Look at that meat. I mean, it's just, you'd think a fish that size wouldn't have beautiful, white, clean meat like that, but it does. You bleed them. Yeah. I cut the gills on this one. Stop telling stories, Trevor. You did not. Yes, I did. You didn't. I didn't see you cut nothing. Yeah. You weren't there. It's because you oh. were sleeping. Well, okay then. <laughs> What's in there? Perch at that dock right there. Yeah. Wow. The little ones. Uh, I missed a little bit. They right? swallowed the hook. We'll throw it into the pile. Right. You ever hear of walleye wings? You know what that is? Or collars? Mm -hmm. So this is a big chunk of meat right here too. Mm -hmm. So that's garbage. Kick out. I need shears. That's what I need so to do this. Shear up through the gill plate. Well, you just you just what I had what I do it at home. I clip here, clip here, clip here, and then clip this. And then this comes out and these, they call them walleye wings in the Midwest, but you keep this fin on, uh -huh. you deep fry this whole thing and then there's like a big ball of meat and you eat it off the... Oh, definitely be trying that. Mm -hmm. 